Juneteenth celebrations are going on across the valley this weekend. The federal holiday commemorates the emancipation of black enslaved people on June 19th, 1865. Today, the city of Farrell held their final day of celebration. First News reporter Kristen McFarland has more. People of all ages gathered at the Farrell Veterans Square to celebrate Juneteenth. Our um, ancestors back then because you wouldn't be here if it wasn't for them. You can't forget where you come from and also just at least for one day everybody can come together from the, the children to the elderly. The day started off with a parade followed by live entertainment. It's a small community but it's a strong community um, and we have a huge impact on the world. People at the event say the celebration is a reminder of unity and resilience and overcoming a lot. A variety of vendors circled Veterans Square, including Mo Reese. Reese owns a clothing line. He recently visited Nigeria and felt inspired by their culture. I would just love to bring some of those cultural things back to America. The atmosphere was full of positivity and support. I hope that we learn and have a great appreciation for who we are our heritage and um, our community. For the local vendors, it was an opportunity to interact and learn from each other. Growing up, you, the community or the world puts limitations on your thinking. Um, so when you see other people doing things, you start to question what's possible for you. In Farrell, Kristen McFarland, WKBN 27 First News. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.